this is your Angry Birds NASCAR fan, the Blue Jimmy 48 fan here, and today we have a brand new game to play. Yes, new year, new games, new content. I've been looking forward to this year for a very, very long time, you know, with the way 2020 has been. Um, it sucked. It really did. Um, but finally, finally, we are going to be on the grind this year. We are finally going to be pumping out videos and i'm really excited to get i'm really excited to to start really committing to this channel and finally putting out that concept that you guys truly deserve um because i've been on this platform for a few years and i feel like and and honestly i've tried so hard you know in the short time that i have been on here to, pr to provide the best content for you guys but finally i feel like this is the year where we are finally going to start breaking through and we are finally going to start pumping out that content that you guys totally deserve. So if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, if you guys are new, make sure you leave a like on this video. Make sure you also subscribe and also turn on those post notifications so you never miss a brand new video. I not only am going to be uploading NASCAR gameplay videos throughout the year, I'm also uploading more vlogs, going to be up uploading more reactions, Gonna be uploading, also gonna be uploading Angry, more Angry Birds videos because I'm not just an NASCAR fan; I'm also a diehard Angry Birds fan. So there's a lot, lot to look forward to on that. Uh, but anyway, um, this game um, I got for about two dollars on Steam, and it was it was on sale. It was like an eighty percent off discount whole deal. Originally, this was about ten dollars, but this game uh, originally came out a few years ago. Um, about five years ago, as a matter of fact, uh, it was on PlayStation, it was on Xbox, and, um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen a couple of, uh, a couple other YouTubers have already tried out this game, I've seen a lot of, uh, a lot of gameplay being done on this game, uh, in the past, uh, even in my early days of watching YouTube, and, uh, you know what, for $1.99, I honestly could not pass it up, and, uh, who knows, I, you know what, I figured... I've literally blown off like a couple of uh, I've literally blown off a couple of uh, of let's plays I've done in the past. I mean, I tried to do it with NASCAR E4, NASCAR E5. Unfortunately, those didn't work out. But hopefully, hopefully this, hopefully this one, I'm actually gonna, hopefully this one, we're actually gonna pump out something more than two episodes. But um, anyway, uh, we are gonna be doing a full on season. We're gonna be doing a full on season, a full 36 race schedule. Um. And we are going to be driving as Jimmy, because we love Michael Brutes in this household. We are going to be driving as Jimmy Johnson uh, for this season. Hopefully, try to get him that eighth title that he so, that he that he oh so deserves. Because let's be honest, Jimmy Johnson is the greatest driver who ever lived. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. I know Richard Petty and Dale Earnhardt Sr. are could be definitely argued for that, but um. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and uh, set the settings here. Um, we're going to have it, obviously, on um, for this whole series. Uh, we're going to have this on 100% difficulty. We're going to have this on five, minute, uh, five minutes of practice. Uh, we're going to have... Um, we're actually going to bump up the tire wear and fuel use. We're actually going to bump it up to two times. Um, we are going to have caution... Uh, we are going to have cautions and black flags on. And we are also going to have full damage on. So, so that's that's my goal for uh, for this uh, for this let's play. Um, if it's too long, uh, I'm gonna see how I'm gonna see how long this is. If I have to reduce the length a little bit, you know, just to make up for time, um, I'll just I'm gonna decide on that factor. But uh, but for now, we're gonna leave it at twenty percent. Um, but anyway, uh, this is uh, this is the shoot. And this is at, this is actually the uh, the sprint unlimited we're loaded into uh, right now. But we're not going to be running that. We're actually going to be running the uh, we're actually going to be running the Budweiser duels in this uh, in this video in order to determine our starting grip position uh, for the Daytona 500, which will be uh, the next episode. So, hang so hang tight, guys. Um, I'll be back and uh, we'll be getting ready to get set to take on the Budweiser duels. All right, everybody. So now we are here at the Budweiser duels. Obviously, I was it was. I, I honestly thought you had to run the Spur Unlimited, but you but I guess not. So so that's really so that's really good to know. Uh, but anyway, here we go for the uh, for the uh, for the Budweiser duels. I think we're gonna qualify first. Uh, it's hundred um, percent. 
12, I have, have it set to 20%. Uh, two times wear. Cautions, black flags, full damage. Um, all that good jazz. So, anyway, uh, with that How being feel, said. Sam? Ready for uh, the first race of the season? Now, look, before you're ready to go out there and start qualifying, it's usually worthwhile to go out during practice session and get used to the track. Well, actually, I already have. I already the Daytona Duels decide the qualifying. Okay, game. we Great get American it, Jeff. Jeez. We get it, Jeff. Holy cow. Welcome to your first qualifying session. Now, qualifying is a... All right, we're going to... All right, so now we are loaded in. I'm hoping you guys can actually see this pretty well. Hopefully the... Uh, Hopefully it won't be too loud when I'm when I'm driving. So, I mean, obviously when I look back, I'll, I mean, I'll determine how 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 much I have to raise the volume and whatnot. Hopefully it sounds hopefully it sounds pretty good. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get on out. Which, by the way, um, I am using the PlayStation Four controller for this. Um, the only controls I unfortunately cannot get down are to change the camera and to also look back, look sideways, all that, all, all that other stuff. I did, I did manage to, I did manage to get, um, uh, get throttle, brake, steering, um, changing the gears, all that, all that stuff. I even got the clutch, I even got the clutch to work. Uh, but other than that, um, this is probably going to be the main camera I might be using anyway for this whole season. So, so anyway, here we go with our first lap of uh, we know how important it is to get a good starting spot here. It'll make all the difference of this uh, of this first ever qualifying. Obviously, I don't think qualifying is going to be any something, anything spectacular. There you go, 38th right there. I mean, the AI in this game is just pretty, pretty, pretty un, pretty unrealistic. I mean, I mean, obviously, I mean, yeah, they're qualifying. You know, it's a little bit, yeah, they show speed and qualifying, but when it comes to the race, uh, the AI is pretty unrealistic in this game so 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 hopefully that isn't going to be too much of an issue when we when we get going so or as we progress I guess you could say uh, with this uh, with this uh, with this let's play so so anyway uh, much better lap here this yeah, time we got some work to do in the race, and we qualify 33rd but we are gonna be in duel number one so I think that's gonna line us up uh, I think that's gonna line us up uh, are always important but you're good enough to make it up on race day hold on and uh, we'll see we'll see where we'll see where everybody else is uh, so Kevin Harvick scores the poll for the big total 500 uh, so he's locked in. He's locked into the show, um, and he'll be starting first in duel number one. Um, it's looking like to be, we are going to be lining up either 70, maybe 16, maybe 16 or six, probably 16th for the, for the first duel. But, um, anyway, well, that's good to, all right, well, that's good to know. And, uh, with that being said, uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and skip uh, practice here, and we're gonna go ahead and the get Duel straight on the straight on order for the Daytona 500. You'll want to get a good position as you can on the grid, so give it all you've got. For sure, for sure, Jeff Hammond. But thank you for also interrupting me again for the second time. Really appreciate that. But um, anyway, um, yeah, 
20% length. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and, uh, and get this, get this duel, get this duel underway. It's time to set the starting lineup for the Daytona 500 with a pair of 150 mile qualifying races. The duel at Daytona. I'm Mike Joy with Daryl Waltrip. Mike, these races you gotta are love these shadows. The driver dude. has one responsibility. Don't wreck the car. Go out there, get some information, kind of prepare for the Daytona 500. So go out there, drive smart, and oh, by the way, try to win. This is the opportunity these teams have been working on all winter. It's time to go earn a spot in the Daytona 500 or load up and go home. I can assure you we're not going home at all because, because it's Jim A. We're driving. All right, guys, here we go. For the first ever race of the let's play and the green flag is in the air and we are underway in the Budweiser duel from Daytona International Speedway Car outside. we got 12 laps here so hopefully we can hopefully we can make the most of it and we qualified 17 so so anyway here we go What are you doing, buddy? On your bumper. All right, so the Car high. first lap, uh, Kyle Busch will lead One the first outside. lap, and uh, Vickers is not being uh, not being. Oh, all right, Jeb. All right, Jeb Burden. Okay, I was trying to side draft, and uh, yeah, I was trying to get to the inside of Vickers, and uh, yeah, Jeb Burden just straight up turned me. So, uh, so good move on your part. Play enough truck, I'm gonna need you to go out. You coming in, buddy? You staying out? And uh, no, nah, we're gonna, no, nah, we're gonna, we're gonna stay out under this. Uh, we're gonna stay out under this caution here, because there's really is just no point. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's see where we line up here. 20th, okay. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully the engine isn't killed from that nose hit I took. Car inside you. Looking low. Oh, I'm seeing the indicator. It's it's orange. All kinds of damage. Looking high. Car outside. Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, then. Um. Yeah, the engine's, uh, kind of killed in a way. Hold on, we're going to see how much damage we have. Everything seems relatively fine. It's just, it's just that it's, it's what's in the, uh, it's, it's what's under the hood that's unfortunately killing our, Killing our run and oh yeah, it is really showing now. And uh Yeah, not a good not a good not a good start, unfortunately. Uh so am I gonna have to pretty much to go. Am I pretty much gonna have to uh to slow and to slow in front of everybody? Yeah, that's what exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna be. We're gonna. I'm sorry. We need a caution here, so we're gonna go ahead and go. Caution's up. There. Works every time. But anyway, um, yeah, works every single time. So anyway, we're gonna come ahead. We're actually gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and pit. So. Clear. Your road's now open. Who's on the wall? So anyway, we are gonna go ahead and uh, and pit here. So hopefully uh. So hopefully we will be able to fix some of the damage or hopefully get or hopefully at least get the engine under control. Uh, okay, no, let's get this stuff figured out. No time uh no 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. Just no... No tires, no fuel, just... Just get... Okay, we need to be fast here. Here we go. Let's just, go. Just get this, uh, just get, just get this damage fixed. That's all I, that's all I care about. I don't care what the strategy was. So hopefully the, uh, hopefully the engine's gonna be back to, back to performance here. Now that's one of the fastest of the day. Awesome work, guys. Awesome work. We're doing great, buddy. That all right, so we're gonna have, uh, so we're gonna have about five laps here. We'll and I think, and I think we got the, uh, yep, we got the engine back. Got the engine back running. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can actually make up some slots and get a good and get a good qualifying position here for uh, for the 500. Jeez, Harvick, what are you? Far at your door, up top at your door. See, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm real, I'm really trying to side, I'm really trying to side draft. Cause it can, cause, cause I've seen it before. It works. Far outside. Five to go. Far outside, yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh, we are stacking up. We are stacking up big time. Yeah, you see, this is exactly reminiscent of what of what the uh, of what plate racing is like in real life. Holy shit! I'm trying to keep a good wheel here. Don't worry, man. He's just trying to bump draft with you. That's it. Close that gap. Stay on it. Stay on it. Oh my! Oh my God, McMurray! Oh my God! I am probably pissing off Trumination right now with this. But we are still three wide, trying to make a move. Coming to four to go this time by. As fast as him, let's chase him back down. Nice lap, much faster. You got the fastest car out there right now. All right. Car up top. Oh, Mc oh my God, Mc whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. We just put Gore in we just put Gore into the wall for. For no, for no reason, but I had to, I had to check, I had to take evasive action because I didn't know what Matt Kenseth was doing. Coming high. Car outside, at your door. Coming on the high side. Car approaching high. At your door, up top. Three wide, two outside. All right. Anyway, three to go here, so I'm Sorry, I'm, I don't, I don't, I'm really apologize that I had to, that I unfortunately killed Jeff Gordon's uh, chance of getting a good spot, but anyway, oh my god, damn it, oh my god, damn it, See, I'm trying to get a draft going, but no one wants to go with me. And we're still and we're still three wide back here. Fight's all clear, bud. Well, we've only got two laps left, unfortunately. I mean, I tried to make something work, but nobody, but nobody wanted to help. But it's looking like, for the most part, we might be starting uh, 32nd in the Daytona Five uh, or 30. Third, I guess you could say, in the Daytona 500. I mean, unless they, unless they wreck up there, which I'm probably gonna guarantee they're not. Far inside, um, trying to get to your corner. Clear left. Yeah, this, yeah, this race is unfortunately over for us. I mean, but it was a nice learning, you know, learning experience, you know, just trying to see what the draft is like. One more good one. And, yep, here we go, white flag. So Michael McDowell is in the lead. Um, and now looks now Paul Menard is taking the lead. Uh, we're unfortunately back here in 16th. 
Um, unless they get dicey up there, um, it looks it's looking like we're it's looking like we're probably going to be starting 33rd for the Daytona 500. Anyway, off of turn number four, coming down to the line, Paul Menard. I believe it might be Paul Menard who is going to win the duel. No, Ryan Blaney's going to win it. Oh, I thought it was Paul Menard. I guess not. All right, so Ryan Blaney wins the Budweiser duel at Daytona, and we come home in the 16th spot. And it looks like we might be starting 33rd, I believe, for the Daytona 500. So... So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and check uh, check the results really. We're gonna go ahead and check the results really fast. Uh, yeah, Ryan Blaney first, Dale Earnhardt Jr. second, Cole with third, Matt Kids at fourth, and Michael McDowell with the fastest lap of the race with a 44.50 finishes in the fifth position. Uh, Ryan Newman, Paul Menard, Jeb Burden, the guy who turned us on the second lap there, which uh, which is really appreciated of that. Uh, Kyle Busch in ninth, and Jamie McMurray rounds out the top ten. All right. So with that said, uh, that is going to that is going to wrap it up for this first episode of the NASCAR 15, uh, the NASCAR 15 Let's Place uh, season as Jimmy Johnson. Uh, well, we qualified. I believe it's going to be. I believe it might be 33rd or 34th for the for the for the for the Daytona 500. But that will be on the next episode. I'm going to be making a whole new episode just for that. Um, I wanted to get this test. I wanted to get the the reason why I decided to do this uh, to do the the, the the duel in a separate video um, is because I wanted to make sure you know everything sounds good. You know everything everything sounds every you know everything everything sounds good. You know quality isn't too bad. You know all you know all the all that good stuff. So anyway, if you did manage to if you did manage to like this. Uh, by all means, leave a like on this video. Feel free to also subscribe and feel free to also turn on those post notifications so you guys never miss a new video. Um, I'm going to try my best to pump out at least one episode of this every single week. Um, but anyways, uh, that is going to officially do it. So anyway, in the next episode, we are going to be doing... Um, we are going to be competing in the Daytona 500. Um, hopefully, we'll have a much better run than, uh, than what we had... Uh, in that race, and uh, apparently I had a couple brain farts uh, as well uh, during this episode, uh, which I apologize. I didn't know the 23 was uh, was uh, JJ Ailey apparently. So, uh, so put that so you can mean that for sure. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, next episode, Dan Talk 500. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, join the Bullshit Revolution today, and I will see you guys on the next video. Remember, stay safe, wear your mask, and as always, stay humble and kind.